Hey guys, it is me, Happy Story again. Welcome back to Grounded. So last time we crafted this awesome level to Crow Crossbow. Now it does so much more damage. I have even upgraded it. So check this out. There's this blue thing. So we do almost plus one extra damage. And now I would love to get an insect hammer. But for that, we'll require to get some more sting bug parts. But again, with this crossbow, it's going to be a piece of cake to do that. We've gotten some sort of an update. And now we can see how much damage those arrows do. So check this out. These basic level one arrows just do one damage. And those feather arrows just do a tiny bit more damage. Damage. So both of them are almost the same, but feather arrows obviously are a little bit better. And after we get that level two hammer, I think we're gonna try to get some sort of a pinch whacker. That's a nice weapon. It's hidden somewhere for that we'll require to get a bomb. We'll need to climb there. And that weapon does some electrical shock damage. It's been nerfed during the most recent update, but I still think it's gonna be kind of cool to get it. All right, so let's try to get all the way to the top and let's see where that crow is gonna drop its feather. Or maybe we don't even have to wait for this crow because usually it drops the feather after it leaves. Oh, there we go. Just left. That's gotta be the feather. Look at this. That's definitely the feather. All right, so let's try to jump down there. Can I use my dandelion? Yes, indeed, we can definitely use it. So let's go here. Well, I'll smack this thing. There we go. Let's destroy it. And go and give me those feather things. Where did they fall? All right, there's a feather piece. So now these crow feather pieces look a bit different. Well, I've spent some time running around there. I could not find more feather pieces. So maybe there was only one feather piece. And also I've seen lots of people talking about the spider fang dagger. So it doesn't really do that much damage, but it's kind of fast. It has some poison damage. And if I'm not mistaken, you can use the spider fang dagger underwater. So that thing will be very useful. But for that, we need to get some more spider venom. So we'll just go and fight a few spiders. Now, let's get our silk rope. I don't even have more silk rope. And now it should be relatively easy to get that spider venom because we have the crossbow and those spider wolves are supposed to be somewhere here. There we go. There's one spider wolf. We were able to fight it last time without these special tools. All right, let's do another shot. We are doing way more damage. I just have to make it stuck. Then everything's going to be fine. All right, so it just escaped. And every time it escapes, I'm pretty certain it restores its health. All right, it's already might be stuck. Isn't that beautiful? Well, that's it. Let's keep shooting it. It's so much easier with this crossbow. There go a couple of more shots and this wolf spider is going to die. It's so much easier with this crossbow. There go. The dude is knocked out. What's going on? Why was it knocked out? I. That must be something new from the new update. All right, let's get back all of these arrows. I had to use like only, what, 30 arrows or something? 30, 40 arrows when before I had to use 100 of them. I've gotten some spider venom, which isn't a lot. We need four of that spider venom in order to craft that uh, wolf fang. I have a little bit of water here, so let's consume Tastes that. Good. I also might be a little bit hungry, so let's eat Red that eyes. food. Now we've restored our health. And there's another spider here, so how about we get it? How about we get this stupid spider? Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness! I got poisoned! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Stupid spider. Will it just be stuck there? Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that, that's not awesome. This guy started chasing me probably. Almost. And I don't have any bandages, so I can't even heal up here right now. It would be awesome if I could heal up. This guy just came a bit closer. Why would you do that, mate? Just stay in one spot. Don't move. There we go. Just a few more shots left. Go on, wolf spider. Do not move. Stay there in one spot. <laughs> There we go. One more shot and that's it. I think it is going to die. There we go. It's a pleasure now fighting them. It is seriously way, way faster. Let's pick it up. We've gotten two more spider venoms. So we have now three in total. We still need more though. All right. So I got the torch here, except it's dark in this place. Super dark. Okay. We can get brittle quartzite. Let's smash these things. I thought we need level two hammer for that. But let's get those things. Maybe I'll be able to upgrade my crossbow even to a higher level. Maybe. Let's go. Let's smash all of these things. Let's get those quartzite things. You know, I hear it's good luck to see a firefly. A firefly? Have they added this thing to the game? I have never seen a firefly here. You know what we're going to do then? Come to Papa. I mean, it's about to die. Oh, no, it's not about to die. Coming after me. Ain't cool at all. Come to Papa Durgo. We've just dealt with our first ever firefly. Let's harvest it. What we've gotten? Glow goo. Okay, let's try to check that glow goo then. All right, so we are back at the base we've just slept. So it's another beautiful morning now. It's 4.57 a.m. And let's learn this glow goo. What on earth is this? Firefly hanging lantern. Okay. And now let's check out this iridescent scale. Let's see what we're going to learn from this thing. 
stuffed firefly and just a head mount basically no new tools all right so we have some of those quartzite shards so let's try to craft a bunch of those things and i think now we can go to the smithing station let's get our crossbow and let's upgrade it to a higher level so now we're gonna do 15 percent more damage instead of 10 percent so let's select that we can even upgrade it to a higher level to do 20 percent more damage all right that is very lovely okay so let's see how much damage our crossbow does now okay so we do plus one extra damage which is very very worth it all right so now i'm running around and searching for those stink bugs because i need to get a few more stink bug parts okay so there's some sort of an apple understandable have a nice day an oreo cookie sandwich for that we need a level to hammer okay we'll try to get that there we go guys i found a stink bug so let's get it real quick what a schmuck okay i did not mean to shoot it right now where is the dude i missed it i missed the shot where's the stink bug oh my goodness oh my goodness missed it again uh, i don't think it does lots of damage but they're just disgusting and huge i hate stink bugs who loves them I don't think there's a single person that likes sting bugs. They got one more shot in the head and that's it. They're gonna die. Bam. There we go. So I think I need like one extra sting bug part or something. There we go. Give me back all of my arrows. How many sting bug parts did I get? We've gotten two of them and I think I already had two sting bug parts. So I think we have enough things to craft ourselves a level to hammer. That's gonna be very awesome. All right. So I have 104 arrows. Apparently I've lost one. That's not... Oh, there we go. There's the fifth arrow. We have now 105 arrows. Say so we are back at the base. Let's drop some loot. And now let's try to craft that hammer. Please tell me we have enough loot for it. I probably don't have enough berry things. I don't have enough berry leather. Check this out. I have the boiling gland. I have the sting bug parts, but I have zero berry leather. Well, we have three berry leather, but that's not Enough. But hey, I'm not giving up. We started working on that level to hammer. We're gonna craft it today, right now. So as they say, let's go on an adventure. Let's get ourselves some berry leather. So hey, we've arrived somewhere here. We should have a bunch of berries. And I already see a berry over here. So let's get one of those berries. It's just gonna plop on the ground. <laughs> they go one berry. And let's get ourselves another berry. There's something about it. There's something funny on how they plop here. They go, let's get back all of these arrows. And let's try to destroy these berries now into tiny pieces. Let's get those berry chunks. There we go. We've gotten seven berry chunks. And I think we need three berry chunks for one leather. And while we're at it, we might as well just get some more berries if I see any. I don't even know if they've grown or not. I see a berry over there. Can I get it? No, it's just going to fall on the top here. It's not going to fall on the ground. There's got to be more berries. Can I get that berry? Obviously, it's going to fall in that water again. Boop. In that tiny fountain. All right. So I think I got most of the berries then. If we need to get more berries, we'll need to go there and fight those spiders. Who knows? Perhaps I don't mind fighting some of the spiders. So let's try to deal with this orb weaver. All right, it's gonna obviously shoot. There we go. Let's get that orb weaver. We should be able to get it with the crossbow. Should be relatively easy. Oh my goodness. Go, 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 go. Idiot, I ran out of stamina. Go on, a few more shots. Another shot, go and open the door. Go, 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 go. All right, gotta, gotta do a few more shots. Okay, the spider is stuck. Shut your mouth, spider. Go one more shot. There go, got him. So I can get back this hammer now. Actually, it's an axe. Let's go, let's chop it down. We're gonna get maybe some webs and we need those webs. Oh no, we don't get any webs from those spiders. Whatever, let's get that stuff from the orb weaver. We've gotten some web fiber. Give me back my arrows. So it wasn't really that hard to fight this orb weaver. But again, I don't even need to fight that orb weaver. What I wanna fight is a wolf spider because that wolf spider is gonna have some more poison. And I want to get that poison. All right, so now there's the stupid Web Jr. Let's go, let's deal with them. Not Web Jr., but Orb Weaver Jr. There we go, got both of them. Let's pick this stuff up. I've gotten some fiber chunks. Actually, spider chunks, not fiber chunks. And hey, let's probably leave this place. I think we've gotten enough berry leather for now. I mean, we've gotten 10 berry chunks. That is something. And to get this milk molar thing, we need a level to hammer. And maybe with that thing, then we can get some sort of buffs. Maybe we can craft different arrows. I don't know. All right, so we are back at the base. Now we're going to craft a few more fiber bandages. There we go. That is something. Let's start healing up with that fiber bandage. And let's go outside and let's get some food. Meals on wheels. There we go. Meals on wheels. Come back, schmuck! There we go. At least we're gonna get this other bug. Weevil. Let's get that weevil. Let's cook it. And there's probably another weevil. Eat or die. Yeah, we're gonna eat. <laughs> we're gonna die in two minutes if I don't eat now. Let's quickly deal with one more of those weevils. I'm sorry, weevil. 
Sorry, not sorry. We gotta eat. And there we go. Let's quickly get back to the base and let's cook the weevil meat here. And hey, while we're cooking that stuff, let's craft this insect hammer. There we go. We've just crafted ourselves a level two hammer. So let's add it now to the first slot here. Let's get rid of our old hammer here. We no longer need that stuff. There we go. Let's get rid of it. And food. There we go. We've gotten some food. So let's eat it before we die. There we go. We've eaten it. Let's cook more weevil meat. All right, so we've just slept. It's another kind of beautiful morning. It's 5 a.m. Let's deal with another one of those spiders as we need to get some more spider venom. There we go. Let's do one more shot and let's get our precious loot. Let's get that venom. Mithridatism just went to level two. This is cool. Now we should be getting even less damage from poisoning. There we go. Let's pick back all of those arrows. Let's pick them back up. I don't know if there are any more spiders. Right, I don't see shadows. anything. It's kind of dark here. All right, whatever. Let's get back to the base. Let's craft that wolf fang dagger. Wait, before we actually do this, we need to go back to the laboratory and we need to talk to that burger robot. That burger robot will let us unlock some floors and probably some other things that we need to build in order to get another awesome melee weapon like that pinch whacker, the electrical weapon that I just told you about in the beginning of this video. And look at this, just as I was talking about, we need these multi-story bases. Let's learn that. So now we should be able to craft other things. No, let's try to go here and check this out. Now we can craft these clover roofs and other things. And with these clover roofs, I think I'm gonna get that pinch whacker. And hey, while we are here, I think it would be nice to go and fight some of these bees. As I do know, they drop loot. We can maybe even craft bee armor with that stuff. Check this out. The bees getting closer. What if I shoot it? There we go. I got it. It shouldn't do that much damage to us. No! Stop it! Oh my goodness. Okay, it doesn't do really do that much damage. It's fine. It's fine. Go on a few more shots. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm missing these shots like crazy. Whatever, let's go. Let's uh, harvest the bee. We've gotten some bee fuzz and that's it. Cool. I probably lost some crow feather arrows. But that is fine. That was the sacrifice that I was willing to make. All right, there we go. We are back at the base. We've gotten some more spider venom. We're going to craft that wolf fang dagger very soon. But before we do this, let's analyze that fuzz. There we go. Let's see what it's going to give us. Be head mount. So probably we've already analyzed other things because I think it unlocks some sort of an armor. Because we can craft this bee face mask. And for that, we need more bee fuzz. But hey, we already have this ladybug armor. So I think we're going to stick to it. I do know that every other armor gives us different stats, different buffs. Like, for example, this bee face Face mask will give us bow stun thing. This ladybug faceplate gives us more block strength. So whatever. I'm just going to keep this armor. All right. So let's see if we can craft this spider fang dagger. Yes, indeed. We can indeed craft it. So let's get it. Let's equip it and let's see how we're going to use it. All right. So it is really fast. It is wicked fast. So we're just unlocking more and more tools now. We've gotten this level two hammer. Let's go inside. Why can't it go in? There we go. Somehow, some way we came inside. So let's try to destroy these ice mint caps. Yeah. How many more attacks do I need to destroy that? There we go. Let's get those mint shards. And probably with those mint shards, I can either get different arrows or I can craft a level three tool. All right, let's pick all of that stuff up. If we ever need more mint shards, I'll definitely get them. But again, to craft that level three tool, I don't think we can even craft it. We need to find some sort of a chip and bring it back to the burger. To the burgle dude, whatever it's called. And only then we'll unlock that level three tool. But whatever, we'll see. Now, let's try to analyze this thing. So we can craft mint arrows. Okay, we've gotten 30 brain power. Those probably mint arrows will be useful against some other enemies. Like some of those enemies are vulnerable, let's say to fresh, like probably this mosquito is vulnerable to fresh stuff. So we can craft fresh arrows with that mint thing. I just think that's how it works. It gives that freshness damage. And we can get another weapon, but to get it, we need to craft this Brad Burst. And for that, we need some fungal growth and uh, red ant eggs. And I think I know where we can get that stuff. There should be a red ant hill somewhere here. Oh wait, that's not red ant hill, but those are larvas, infected larvas. Let's try to get one of them. Okay, infected larva. It's probably gonna do some nasty damage to us. But right, let's do a few more shots. Dude, I love this crossbow. This crossbow is awesome. Let's do one more shot. There we go. Ah, uh, yikes. It's disgusting. This dude is disgusting. Let's pick it up. We've gotten some fungal growth. That's just what... I want to say what the doctor ordered, but I don't think any doctor ever ordered some fungal growth. 
<laughs> so, no, that's not what the doctor ordered. Then we'll need to craft a gas mask and probably we'll need to go there into the haze. There we go. I found the red ant hill. There's the base and it's literally behind the base. So let's see if I'll be able to get inside and get the whatever eggs that I need. I think it should be definitely doable. Let's try to get this and perhaps the wolf fang dagger. Go on, it's gonna attack me. I'm gonna wait until it will... I mean, this... This... Uh, this dagger is kind of awesome. Right, there we go. Oh no, I ran out of stamina. Let's wait until I restore my stamina. And let's deal with another one of those uh, red and soldiers. But I think the crossbow will be even better than this thing. Because this dagger is great and all, but... But that's all there is to it. Probably this thing will be better. So how do I get those eggs? Do I just jump inside and that's it? Is that what I gotta do? Oh my goodness. Wow, it just attacked me. It just jumped at me. Well, at least they don't do that much damage. Go, go. Another shot? Oh my goodness. Now they really don't do that much damage. Almost no damage at all. Oh, these ants now are gonna attack me as well. Schmuck! I'm gonna fight an entire ant colony. That's insane. That is actually insane. And more of them are coming out. Maybe with melee weapons it would be easier to fight them. Maybe if I had like some sort of different armor or something. But I think I can just get them with this crossbow. It's kind of decent. Now let's get back all of these arrows. Let's pick everything back up. Will I ever deal with all of them? Whatever, I'm just hopping inside. Doesn't matter. I want to get the red ant eggs! Schmuck, 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 schmuck. Doesn't matter, I'll get some of that garbage. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Just sir. Sir, stop it! Stop it, sir. Where are the red ant eggs? I don't see any of that. I'll be lost. I won't be able to leave this place. I can already see how I'm gonna get lost here. What is this thing? A brittle thing? It's kind of cool to upgrade my tools, but... Thank you, but how about no? Do I even have to be here? I kind of remember this place a little bit, but I don't remember it fully. Okay, that's the exit, probably. That's where I came from. Let's go lower, then. Okay, there's this molar thing. I could probably destroy it real quick. Before those ants destroy me. Okay. Let's get that thing, milk molar. You found milk molar. What does that even do? ASL... We need to go to ASL terminal and learn more about that milk molar. Okay. Do I even get those red ant eggs here? Or do I find them somewhere else? Whatever, let's pick that stuff up. And what on earth is this? Okay, uh, more of that big brain science. Well, I'll pick it up. I'll get it. I'm not picky. 500 raw science. Ooh, red ant eggs. That's what I was talking about. That's what we came here for. For those red ant eggs. And we still have a decent amount of health. Right, is there anything else here? I hear weird sounds. And I don't like them. All right, I'm gonna get another one of those brittle uh, quartzites. Let's pick it up. Another ant. They don't seem to be dangerous. Oh no, they are dangerous. If I steal their eggs, of course. Of course, they are dangerous. Schmuck. Don't fight with me. Don't you dare to fight with me. I don't like this stuff. Where are we going? You see this weird place? I think we've just... I've just made a loop. My base is there, so maybe I should leave this place and go back to my base. I think we could do that, because I don't think there's anything else in this ant hill. Unless there is something that I might have missed. But doesn't matter, there's just another pebblet. I don't need that pebblet. There we go, we still have a little bit of stamina, so I can keep running. That stupid worker ant doesn't even see me. Okay, cool. There's another ant there. Oh my goodness, stop it, stop it, stop it! Look at all of these ants there! That's it. I just gotta not go to my base now. Because I think if I go to the base, I will lure all of them there. And I kind of don't want to do that. Okay, there's this guy coming after me, so we'll deal with it. Okay, just disappeared, got a shot in the head and left. Oh, it's back. Come back then. Thanks for bringing back my arrows! There you go, let's get all that stuff. Let's learn how to craft that bomb and then let's go and let's try to get that whacker. I forgot how it's called. Electrical whacker, I don't know. Anyway, let's try to analyze some of the things. Let's go here and no new recipes. There's the ASL terminal. Molar infusion upgrades. What is that? 
So we could upgrade our max health, which I think we should do. Then we can increase our stamina. Hunger and thirst drain, doesn't matter. Healing could be maybe worth it. And then max active mutations, that's worth it as well. I think maximum stamina would be very worth it because I keep constantly running out of stamina. So let's use this milk molar for the max stamina. Ready. Accidentally got in more health. <laughs> this is not what I wanted to do. I should have selected a different thing, but it doesn't matter. We have more health now. That, that's good as well. All right, and in order to craft this bomb, we need some more grass chunks. So let's get those grass chunks. But before we do this, let's drop loot in this base. We could maybe even craft one more chest because we kind of ran out of space. So let's get this chest here. I'll place it somewhere here. There we go. Let's add some more acorn here and boom, we got another chest. All right, so behind the base, we have lots of those dry chunks. So let's cut this thing down and let's craft that bomb and then I think we can start parkouring our way into getting the thunder weapon. There we go, let's craft the bomb. Boom, we got it. I've never used it, don't know how to use it, don't know how to throw it. Hopefully I don't explode, that's all I have to say. Wait, we can even go and destroy this mushroom now with this level 2 axe that I got. Let's chop it down, I've never tried to do that before. But we're gonna get tadstool chunks. I mean, let's pick them up and let's try to analyze them. Okay, so there's a firefly around the base. Okay, finally it left. Alright, let's see what that's all about. What can we craft? Mushroom slurry. Okay. Oh my goodness, so it's another morning and that's how we're gonna start our morning fighting those orb weavers. Oh, that's just an orb weaver junior. Okay, so that's not a problem at all. Okay, let's deal with this guy. So we have all the tools required to get the thunder weapon. I'm going to get it right now. Hopefully I'll be able to get it right now. I also have some flower petals, so let's pick them up while we're here. Probably those flower petals keep respawning, they keep falling, but it's fine. The more flower petals, the better, I guess. Wish there was maybe some sort of an upgrade to upgrade your inventory, like to craft a bigger backpack or something. All right, there's one more spider. There we go, we dealt with that spider here as well. That was kind of quick. We are still on full health. And there we go, there's that milk carton. Oh no, and there's a big, big spider. Mama spider. Mama spider is never cool. Oh my goodness. Trying to wall trick that mama spider. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but I, I'm doing it. Oh my goodness, I am a genius. Wall tricking mama spider. Just gotta be kind of careful. Don't have to let her come through. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, going to be low, be low, be low! Oh my goodness! I don't like it. Another shot, we need to do one more shot, and then she's dead. And then she's dead. Actually, two more shots. Oh my goodness, missed it. How, why? Do I miss it? Constantly. There we go, we've dealt with another big spider. Sheesh. Well, at least this crossbow is awesome. That's all I have to say about the crossbow. Shout out to the crossbow! <laughs> and I shout out to you guys for watching the video. Thanks for being here. There are a bunch of stupid mosquitoes. Maybe I'll switch back to these other arrows. Can't even build on this milk carton. All I know is that there we go, guys. There's that hole. And we gotta get there-ish. So can I build things here? Invalid surface, unsupported. Can I get this beetle from here? Maybe I should. Oh, whoa, 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 I just got thrown on the ground. That's not what I signed up for. Plus, there's a mosquito after me. Look at this guy just destroying me. Oh, my goodness, stupid web. Let's get this. All right, the mosquito does a decent, a healthy amount of damage. Totally way more damage than I would like to get. But at least I got the mosquito. Wow. Plus, inventory is full. I can't get even more things. This place is dangerous. No matter where I go, no matter what I do. There's the beetle schmuck. Oh, Bombardier Beetle is fighting with that... With that dude. Okay, cool. Maybe I'm gonna let them do that. My money's on the Bombardier Beetle. There's the Bombardier Beetle. Maybe let's get these better arrows. What I'm gonna do with these pro other arrows. Might as well just save them. Might as well just use them on this Bombardier Beetle. There we go. Another shot. Let's avoid it. Another shot going. A few more shots and then we should be able to get that weapon! Oh my goodness. Mosquito, mosquito. Oh my goodness. Got the other mosquito. I just went... I was thrown on the ground. Sadly, I don't have any more bandages. No more fiber bandages. And hopefully that bug did not restore its health. Where is the beetle? 
Oh, the beetle is dead. So I think I can quickly jump down here. I can pick all of my arrows back up. We can also harvest these bombardier beetles. I guess that's cool. There go more loot. Inventory's full. Probably haven't picked up everything, everything. Well, there we go. I think I have all of the arrows now. All right, so to build, I need some weed stems. And sadly, I got no weed stems. And from here, we could just build this thing up, right? And then another one here. All I need is just weed stems. All right, is that a dandelion? I think I see it. Let's chop it down. And hopefully, that'll be enough. There we go. Let's chop this thing down. But I'm pretty certain my inventory is full. Oh my goodness, there are these larvas. I'm not gonna get any peace here, will I? There we go. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. That should be enough. Now, let's get back to that place and hopefully those bombardier beetles haven't respawned. There we go. Let's build this thing. Let's build this. Let's build this. And I can probably craft one more of those. There we go. Let's build it. Bam, and now we need one more probably because I won't be able to reach it there. Yeah, I'll need to get weed stem because I cannot get there. Impossible. I think we can chop this thing though. The husky weed, let's go. Husky weed, shepherd weed, haha. <laughs> smash like, smash subscribe. This took me forever, like seriously. It takes so much time to get this stuff. Oh wow, we're gonna get lots of those things. But it took me forever and a little bit to get here, but maybe it's gonna work now. All right, let's go all the way to the top. And let's build it. One more of those. There we go. We finished it. And I probably need to build here this thing. No, not the triangle thing. This thing. There we go. Let's add all of that stuff. Can I add another one of those? I mean, we have the loot. I brought it. So I might as well just build it. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Now let's drop these things on the ground. We no longer need it. And there we go. We did it. We did it. So all we need is to throw a bomb here. How does one equip it? Let's equip the bomb. I just wasted it, haven't I? I just wasted that bomb, haven't I? I thought you throw it. I didn't know he just drops it. Did that work? Oh, at least that worked. <laughs> I thought I'll have to go back to the base and craft another one. But we did it. We did it. So here we should be able to get some free loot, ladies and gents. Finally, free loot. So there we go. There's the pinch whacker. Is it level 3 tool or a level 1 tool? I have the pinch whacker in my hand, but what if I just check it here now? All right, so the pinch whacker is still level 3 tool, but it's no longer an axe. So before this pinch whacker was an axe. Okay, cool. Then we have some of these awesome tools. Supreme plating, supreme more platings, whetstones. So let's take all of these things into our inventory. All right, so I'll maybe get rid of some things. I'll get rid of the clovers. Because why not? Maybe let's explore this place. What else can we get here? Uh, rotten berry charm. Let's get that rotten berry charm. Whatever that's supposed to be. Is there anything else here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. See, I don't think there's anything else we can take from this laboratory. But that pinch whacker was definitely worth it. Question mark. And from the research that I've done in order to repair this pinch whacker, we'll have to get some sort of glue or something. Okay, let's try to get this red worker ant. Okay, we just destroy that red worker ant like that. We still can even use probably the shield. There we go. We can use a shield. We can use the swacker. So this weapon is going to be relatively difficult to repair. So maybe I'll save it for stronger enemies. Again, even if it's that strong. Because after the nerf, it might be just useless. Right, just for the memes, let's see how it's like to fight this ladybug with this tool now. Let's see if it'll be easier or harder. Just for no reason. We're just going to attack her. Absolutely for no... All right. Okay, let's... Oh my goodness. It's doing kind of decent amount of damage. There we go. Just got stunned with that electro thing. And I'm out of stamina. There we go. Just destroyed her. As you can see, this tool is all right, I think. We just destroyed the ladybug. So probably the tool is great. But hey, before this was also a level 3 axe. Which I haven't even seen a single thing that we can chop down that requires a level 3 axe. I still think wolf spiders are going to be out of our reach. I don't think we'll be able to fight them with this pinch whacker. But hey, somebody's in my base. Oh, that's a worker ant. What are you doing here, schmuck? Alright, let's attack it again. 
There we go. We just destroyed that war crane. So yeah, this tool is quite decent. Well, at least it didn't destroy anything inside of my base. We've also gotten this rotten berry charm. So maybe I can go and analyze that rotten berry charm. Let's see what it's all about. Okay, I cannot do anything with that rotten berry charm. A piece of a grotesque berry that seems to bring out the innate power of rotten weapons. So whatever, I'm just gonna drop it here. Then we have these supreme whetstones in order to upgrade probably our level three tools or armor. And so to progress further to the story, obviously we'll need to get some food. So that's why I'm cooking some weevil meat. And I also need to craft this gas mask. But for that gas mask, apparently we need more stink bugs. But at least those stink bugs are easy to get. And then I think we'll start moving into the haze stuff. Because it looks like there are two laboratories. One is the black ant hill, which is probably maybe here or here. And one of them is the haze laboratory. So we got to go there. But regardless of where we go, it looks like we need to get that gas mask. So let's just get it. There goes stink bug. Weakness fresh. All right. So we could get those mint things. There we go. A few more shots. Actually, you know what? It's easier to deal with this guy with just your crossbow. The guy just teleported there. There we go. The dude is dead. Oh my goodness. The stupid thing scared me. Go ahead and give me the loot. We've gotten three stink bug parts, so that should be enough. All right, so I think now we have enough resources to craft this gas mask. There we go. Let's craft our first ever gas mask. I don't know how long it's going to last for, but hey, let's try to equip it. And once I equip it, do, do I... Nice and safe. Okay, cool. Maybe I shouldn't be using it yet. I'll equip it later. And hey, while we are cooking more meat, let's get that silk rope. Let's craft even more silk rope. All right, so we got the gas mask, which is great, but also somewhere there-ish. There is a missing burgle chip, and we also have those quests to find those missing burgle chips. All right, so I don't think I've ever been here. It's like some sort of an open field. I don't like it, but we are very close to the to the chip. There is an end hill. I'm pretty certain that burgle chip is going to be somewhere in an end hill. Let's be real. There we go. They're going to start attacking me. Well, for some reason, they're not attacking me. Cool. I'm just searching for that missing burgle chip and that's it. Oh, there's another egg. Oh my goodness. Now all of them are gonna attack me because I stole that egg. But maybe they'll lose interest in me. We'll get that brittle thing perhaps later. And I think that's it. They're gone already. They're not chasing me. Oh, more of that stuff. I want to smash it. This way we'll be able to upgrade our tools even to a higher level. Do these things respawn? That's what I'm interested in. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I should have come here with another torch in mind. That burgle chip isn't here. Maybe I can just jump down to get that burgle chip. There's another egg. I'll get it. And you know what? Maybe I'm not that scared. I'll jump into here. Whoop. Wherever. I Sturdy quartzite. Let's pick it up. That is something. What are those things? Cookie sandwich bits. Ooh, all that stuff is gonna come into the inventory. Can I eat it? Uh, they almost give nothing. I'll get one stack of that stuff. We can destroy this thing. And is that the burgle chip? Yes, indeed. That's what we needed to get. Red and hill burgle chip. Okay, cool. Rotten bee shoulder pads. Let's get that. We can get some more ice mint caps because those things will be important. Later on because I think we'll start running out of that stuff. So let's get that. Another maybe brittle marble. Now, all I have to do is just leave this place. There we go. The thing is gone, guys. My torch uh, has disappeared. Oh, that's the exit. There we go. We did it. That was easier than I thought. That's it. We're out. We've gotten the chip and we left that place. <laughs> Lovely. So it has one, two, three, four, almost five defense. And these shoulder parts, okay, these actually current ones that I have are better. But hey, let's analyze the stuff before I start sorting out the inventory. Let's go here and what can I analyze? Okay, I can I analyze that stuff? So I've learned nothing new. Oh, check this out. We can get those molar things. Look at this. We can get the milk molar and we can get the mega milk molar. With mega milk molar, we can stack more consumables. We can stack more resources and we can stack more arrows. Those are very important things. All right, so we are back at the laboratory. Let's talk to this guy. I found an auxiliary chip. So let's see what's up. Thank you. Let's see what I can remember. Check the ASL terminals, the science shop for the new recipe. We have the fiber bandage efficiency. It refines the fiber bandage recipe so it uses much less ingredients per bandage. That's it. Oh, and check this out. I've just realized that we also have the pond laboratory, right? Because look at this. There's this chip here. So that means it's a pond laboratory. But to get there, I think we'll require to craft some sort of a helmet. Because I've seen that there is a helmet that allows you to breathe underwater. There's this bubble helmet. For that, we need to get 
eelgrass and sunken bones. I don't know where to get any of those sunken bones. But hey, down there, there's gonna be a pond laboratory. And hey, perhaps let's get this tool and maybe let's go underwater and uh, let's see what we could find here. Okay, I cannot enter this, obviously. Where is the entrance to this laboratory? Yeah, we need to breathe. Will those smug spiders try to attack me? What are they? Oh, okay, diving bell spider. Oh, disgusting. Is it dead? It is dead. I just got a diving bell spider chunk. Can I get these things? Eelgrass, there we go. That's the eelgrass. That's what we need. There we go. Let's chop it down. It's gonna probably fall here on the ground and inventory is full, of course. Why wouldn't it be full? Where is air? We gotta get air from here. Hopefully that fish isn't gonna attack me. All right, so I got some garbage in my inventory. Why I haven't dropped these things yet? Why do I have all of that with me? Plant fibers. We can get rid of the plant fibers. There we go. Let's breathe again. And now let's take those eel grass. There we go. That is something. Now there's one more thing left to do is to get some other special things. Uh, the sunken bones. But we've gotten some things to check out. Diving bell spider. So let's get it. We can craft a bone dagger and bone trident. Okay, can we get this thing? Buoyant marker and a plant fiber from it. Okay. All right, guys. So I think I found an entrance. Look at this. Except I keep getting eaten alive by that fish. So that's not good. Okay, these guys. Maybe I need to get them as well. Well, let's try to breathe a bit. And let's try to get one of these guys. I don't know how strong they are. Maybe they aren't strong at all. There we go. Let's get that boatman, dude. Fish boatman fin. Okay, so we need that stuff as well. From the research that I've done, we'll require it to, to maybe move faster underwater. That fish is after me. Why would it go after human? All right, so all we need to do is just find another bubble then. There we go. Let's stay here. Because there's one more bubble. And let's go deeper now. I don't like it. I don't think it's a good idea to be here. But I am here nonetheless. Maybe that's the entrance to the laboratory. Maybe, perhaps. I don't see anything. There's the fish thing. I'll get it. But I'm gonna die because there's nothing to breathe. And perhaps let's check that lily pad. Maybe we need like a level 2 tool or something. Let's go here, here. And why do I need to get it? It doesn't say anything. Oh, there we go. There's the lily pad wax. I finally found it. It's under the lily pad. Okay, cool. So let's get some of those things while we're at it. What is that a milk molar? That is. That is, ladies and gents. Wait, so let's go here. Let's destroy this milk molar. And there we go. We should be able to, to upgrade our character. I think I'm going to put that into stamina. Why not? The more stamina we have, the better. All right, so finally we are back at the base. Let's go. Let's analyze all of those things. Let's get the lily pad wax, which we've learned absolutely nothing. And I can't even analyze those fins because I maybe already have a few of those fins at the base. I didn't even know that. But hey, let's go here. Can I craft those fins now? There go fin flops. We can already craft them. I already had the boatman fin things. So let's craft those. That's pretty good. We are definitely faster with these fins. Right, that's for sure. We are definitely way, way faster with those fins. Except, do they lose their ability quick? Hopefully they don't. When I see something shining there, is that another molar? Give it to me. Oh, we need to destroy it. Go on, let's destroy that stuff. Let's get another milk molar. Nice. So I've just realized that we will probably require to craft this gill tube. So I think we have enough lily pads. I don't know if we have enough of that eel grass strand. So let's get those and let's get back to the base and then let's craft that breathing thing. All right, so let's get that chopping tool. Let's chop some of these things down. Are they going to fall on the ground? Okay, they're already falling. And we could also craft the slime lantern, a lantern made from hydrophobic material and slime mold. Useful for exploring the murky depths because I cannot see anything under that water. I cannot even see those bones. But for that, we need one extra lily pad wax. All right, so we'll definitely have to get it. So there's still lots of things for us to do, but I think we've done a decent amount of progress today. We started unlocking more things. We are starting to get into this pond laboratory. But we'll do even more progress in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video. And the highlights just check it out my Miss Survival Let's Player. Click on the second card and you'll go to my The Infected Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlists, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I've played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yup.